Hey everybody, Matthew Solomon here, and I just, I had to jump on real quick because I got inspired, <laughs> and I just had an epiphany that I wanted to share with you, and that is that don't put all your eggs in one basket is a scarcity conversation. And when you're coming from scarcity, things just aren't going to line up the way that you want them to. Now, for those of you who don't know me, I'm an award-winning writer and director here in Los Angeles, and I also coach people. I coach people on whatever area of your life that you want to break through, you want to take to the next level, you want to, whatever it is that you want to experience, I'm a master at getting you out of your way so you can actually have it. Now, don't put all your eggs in one basket is well-meaning and good-intentioned, and it, ne it needs to stop. Because what it means, what it implies, is that things may not work out. Things aren't going to work out. The bottom could fall out from under you. It's also right up there with, you know, don't get your hopes up. Have something to fall back on. Don't get too excited. So, I was watching this Facebook Live video with uh, Genevieve Rackham, who's an amazing coach. She's actually one of my coaches, and... Um, has really made a big difference for me. Now, she, she was talking about manifesting money and, you know, setting up programs and, and the trap of when you have, a, like, a promotional program and, you, and you're, like, focused on this is it and this is going to be the way that money's going to come in and this is, uh, you know, my ticket to whatever. You get so focused on it that you're shutting everything else out and you also are allowing in the resistance and the fear of, what if this doesn't fucking work? Now, some of, a lot of you know, about a year ago, I went through a breakup. And so I was, you know, sharing an apartment with somebody and splitting costs. And at the time, um, you know, my half of the cost was a stretch for me. And so when that person left, and at the time I had no resources to pick up and leave either, um... My initial thought was actually, I'm going to be fine. This is going to work out. I had no evidence for that. There was no history to, to prove that, or to even prove that I was capable of that. But it was the clearest thought in that moment. And, and it blew me. I was like, I'm going to be fine. And so what happened was, um, I started busting ass. Like I was in, inspired and I was like, I am going to make money and make this work. And so I started reaching out to everybody that I knew who I had worked for before, people who could hire me, people who could use my services. I was on Craigslist, uh, you know, I edit and I do music and all of that in addition to writing and directing and I've worked in casting and I'm an actor and on and on and on. A lot of stuff. Uh, you know, started driving for Lyft even. And what happened was money started showing up and I booked a commercial. And the commercial paid me really, really well. And so by the end of the year, I had actually had the best year in my life to date. And all of that happened in the last six months from the point where I was like, this is going to work. Now, what's interesting is, as that was happening, my past base thought was, what if it doesn't keep going? What if it was a fluke? What if I just got lucky? What if I suddenly become unlucky? What if, what if, what if, what if, what if? And that's scarcity. And so little by little, things started to drop off and auditions got more scarce and uh, funding for, you know, one of my movies fell through and, you know, stuff like that kept happening. Luckily, I was working with enough good people and have done enough work that I was able to keep correcting and keep correcting and keep correcting. And, and it wasn't until I really started focusing on the source. The money is not my source. The job is not my source. You know, the commercials are not my source. The, the woman is not my source. My source is, your source is, what is it that you want to experience in your life? How do you want to feel? How do you want to be? I want to be happy and successful and wealthy and loved and loving and uh, in 
amazing relationships with people I work with and, you know, romantic partners and whatever. Like, that's the source. Getting clear on what it is you want. Getting in the feeling energy of what it is you want. And then trusting it's going to show up and then allowing it to show up from wherever it shows up. Now, the all, all, you know, don't put your eggs in one basket thing is a skewed way of looking at that because it's saying, don't just focus on this one thing because don't just focus on this one thing. Now, when you're in your source energy, when you're in the space of allowing, it's don't just focus here because it can come from anywhere and allow it to come from anywhere. And just know that it's going to show up and it'll show up. And then the scarcity part is, you know, like I said, don't just focus here because if that goes to shit, you're fucked. So when you're thinking about what it is that you want in your life, what you want to experience on whatever level it is, you want to focus on that. You want to get in the feeling of it. You want to like really be who you would be with that experience and then just let it show up from wherever it shows up. You know, when the movie thing fell out, a TV thing show, showed up. When the commercial stopped running, coaching showed up. Like that was a whole divine thing through meditation that was like, you know what? I know a lot of shit about a lot of shit. I have coached people. I'm going to open myself up to coach. And I did. And clients showed up and continue to. And if I was coming from, I don't know, nobody's really going to resonate with that energy. So with everything that you're looking at, with everything that you want to create, with everything that you want to experience, focus on the feeling, focus on the, the end result experience of it. And stop cutting yourself short and selling yourself short and preparing for the worst. Because if you're preparing for the worst, then you're opening the door up for that to show up. And that's all I have for you today. <laughs> Go do something nice for yourself today. Have, have, I was going to say have a great weekend, but you may not, you know, whenever you watch this. Uh, if you'd like to coach with me, send me a message. If you're interested in uh, talking more, like we can even, you know, discuss that. So thank you very much and talk to you soon.